Hello, KubeCon. Hello, Team Cloud Native. I'm Kate. And I'm Emma. And we are really excited to be talking to you today about the power that each and every one of you has to help make a difference for our planet. But it's not just what you can do. We want to challenge you today to change the way that you think when you design, develop, and deploy software. But before we start, we're going to begin with a story, a story that some of you may already know, a story from science fiction. The story is about people who are forced to move from their beautiful home and planet and forced to move to a desert planet. It's hot, it's hostile due to the scarcity of resources. But this isn't just science fiction anymore. We are all living in a climate crisis, from extreme weather patterns to rising sea levels. We are all experiencing the issues related to the scarcity of resources and the impacts of climate change. We can purchase sustainable clothing, we can conserve energy at home, but what can we do at work? What are the problems in the industry that need to be addressed? It's a good question. The problem we have right now is that the data we are using and the way we're using it continues to grow. We tweet more, we stream more, we video more, and the power required for AI is doubling every four months. To handle all of this computing, data centers around the world are on a trajectory to go to 8% by the end of the decade. This will be a problem for all of us if we don't have sufficient renewable energy to meet this demand. It gets worse. In a recent survey of over 100 companies questioned, and this doesn't include peak utilization, over half of them were using on average 20 to 40% of CPU utilization. This means that there is a lot of resources being wasted with idle servers sitting around using large amounts of energy. With the increase of energy usage and prices, and combined with the wasted resources that Kate has just outlined, this is leading to huge amounts of money being wasted and contributing to millions of tons of unnecessary CO2 emissions. We can do more to combat this, can't we? For example, do we all here think about sustainability when we contribute to open source? Up until now, we've had the mindset that we've had unlimited compute resources at our fingertips. And we didn't have to think about sustainability when we designed our software. But this clearly can't continue. Um, it can't continue. And it's a big ask for all of you to change the way you think about your day-to-day -day work. Let's start with coding languages that you use every day. Anyone here know which language uses the most energy? The table you see here is a list of languages with normalized energy usage. Starting with the lowest down to the highest. Coding with Python over Rust, and this is for large scale applications, can mean a difference of up to 75x in energy usage. This shows the decisions that you make really can have an impact on energy consumption. But it's not just the programming languages. As open source contributors, you can start thinking about sustainability in everything you do. A number of companies, including Intel, have joined the new CNCF Environmental Sustainability Working Group. 
The working group aims to foster and grow an ecosystem of environmental sustainability projects, users and maintainers. And there's an opportunity for everyone to get involved. While we're here this week at KubeCon, Intel have a number of demos and presentations for you to see the capabilities that we are driving into Kubernetes and in the cloud native space. Things including the Carbonware scheduler, for example. This provides intelligent workload placement for power. We're also co-presenting with Red Hat on improvements that we've made to pin uh, and allocate cores more efficiently. And why not come visit us in the booth and see the power manager in action? The power manager provisions CPU power management features so that you can help, help you save energy. We also contribute to open source telemetry projects like Collecti and Telegraph to make sure that you have all the power telemetry and insights at your fingertips to make sure that you know what power you're consuming and how you're consuming it. As you can see, Intel are leading and driving a number of activities in this space. And also as a company, we have a number of initiatives announced recently, including increasing the efficiency of our client and server processors by 10 times by 2030 and reaching net zero emissions by 2040. We started today by talking to you all about the power that you have to make a difference to our planet. You now have that power and you can start by taking action today by putting sustainability into the forefront of everything you do and by learning about what the CNCF is driving, prioritizing sustainability when you design, develop and deploy software and learning about what Intel is driving and leading to help save energy. The opportunities really are endless. Please come join us in this journey. Thank you all so much for listening to us today. And we are looking forward to meeting and chatting with you in the Intel booth. Thank you. Thank you.